Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Kokish here in Las Vegas with two Brits here, Katie and Stu. And we just had a very shocking revelation about their relationship and their political opinions. Apparently, as regards to the Brexit vote, Stu voted to leave and Katie voted to remain. So I'm going to put you guys on the spot here. Now, in front of each other and the whole world, you got to explain yourselves. Why, I'll start with Stu. Because this is the, the impetus on change here. Why would you want to leave the European Union? Uh, well, to be honest with you, um, I really didn't think the the bill would pass and we'd actually leave. Um, so you thought it was a political idol threat? You thought like your vote was a joke? Like it was just trolling? Like you could vote without it having consequence? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> but I, I think it'll give us a little bit more power, maybe a bit a negotiating table for maybe trade in and out of the UK. I think it will. I think it'd probably be a good thing in the end. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to affect Ireland and Northern Ireland, though. So that's that's the only thing I'm a little bit mm, about. All right, and Katie, why did you vote to remain? I never like change. However, the more I've thought about it, it is probably going to make more sense to leave. Like Stu said, we will get better trade deals. Well, you're not just saying that now because you just found this out. No, because you actually had thought that he had voted to remain, also. Yeah, well, he, yeah, um, but no, it's been a while now. You kind of have to adjust because it's happening whether you like it or not, um, and yeah. Change anyway, to be honest with you. At the moment, no, but it's what next year now that it's happening. Yeah, but it's still. It's going to be. See what happens. There's nothing you can do to stop it now. You just got to go with it. Now, Stu's attitude was, oh, nothing's really going to change. It's not going to be that big a deal, right? But there's a trend here that, that it seems like either power gets more and more concentrated or power gets decentralized. And it sounds like you're, you're the, the only real meaningful you know, uh, outcome of this that you guys are pointing at is that you have more local autonomy for Britain, right? So you, you think that's a good thing too, Katie? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's about time we kind of took control of our own country and... All right, so yeah. now I'm going to put you guys both on the spot in terms of the bigger question here. How big, as in how much territory or uh, should government control, right? Because we see that it could go more in the direction of concentration of power towards the EU, towards global government, towards the UN, or it could get decentralized down to the independent kingdoms of the UK, or even more so down to the community level. What direction do you think you want to see this go in, and which would be better for humanity? Humanity? That's not a question. Um, no, 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 hold on. You're, you're British. You're supposed to be globally minded, right? I mean, biggest empire the world had ever known. Back in the day, sure. But yeah. we're, we're just a tiny little island now, to be fair. Um, no, I think in, uh, look, for the human race, look, we all need to be working together uh, all, and all singing off the same hymn sheet. So, yeah, dividing people is, is never a great thing. Um, so, for short term, uh, I think uh, it's going to be a good thing for the UK, but longer term, I think that the whole planet needs to work together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that's a cop out. We're not going to let it end with that. Katie? I kind of agree in the way short term it is going to be good for the UK. However, long term, it's just going to have to be, you'll see what happens. Well, in terms of this idea of working together, I mean, should, we work together better when we get to cooperate, right? Like you say that it's better for Britain to be able to negotiate independently for trade deals. So that it's because they're, they're the autonomous right of the people separate from this bigger organization is respected. So it would seem if you want people to be able to cooperate and work together better, you would want government pushed down as locally and, and decentralized as possible so that everybody has that ability to negotiate on their own behalf. I mean, eventually get government down to the individual level, and then you can have absolute global cooperation without any government structure in the way, right? Makes sense to do it like that. Everyone's happy. <laughs> everyone's happy when everyone's rights are respected, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you sound like a great Brexit champion. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your time today. Katie, Stu, you guys have been great. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions. 
including DTube, and you can find that through steamit.com, as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized, blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.